YouTube family, what up, though? It's your boy Montez Allen. I'm back with another video on Labor Day. It's a beautiful day in Georgia. It's Labor Day weekend. Unfortunately, it's Monday, so that means most people got to go back to work on Tuesday. Um, but it's still a beautiful day. I'm out here. I got my Pinot Grigio. I got my my chicken thighs on a grill, and I don't know if you can if you can look closely. I know you can't see it. It's a foot in there because I know how to put my foot in some barbecue. All right, but I, I got a quick message oh, before I start. Uh, I just want to say thank you to all of my subscribers, 221. Um, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I remember I had zero and zero one. So uh, to go from that to 221, I really appreciate it, okay? So uh, I'm at the pool like always. I'm about to close it, but uh, I got a message. And it's going to be... It's going to be a short message um, because I know most of y'all probably barbecuing with your fam bam and having drinks uh, and stuff like that. So um, your time is coming. Keep going. Keep pushing. Your time is coming. Keep staying persistent. Your time is coming. It's going to come. It's inevitable, inevitable for you to run into success and your time going to come if you stick with it and don't give up. Your time is going to come. Uh, if you're anything like me, you want to win and, and you're this. You're a child of God, right? You want to win, right? And God wants his children to win. But we get impatient when it's not happening fast, in including me. And sometimes we think after two years it should happen. Maybe after three years it should happen. But you got to understand that your time is coming. If you're failing, your time is coming. If you're struggling, your time is coming. If it ain't happened yet, your time is coming. If you're anything like me, a lot of times I'm, you know, obviously on the Internet. And I'm not trying to compare. And I'm not jealous either. But it seems like when you be, you see other people like this is how I made thirty dollars, thirty, thirty million in six months or this is how my business blew up after I did this. And if you're like me, you've been working on your business for years. Right. And it still hasn't like worked how you want it to work. It hasn't created that freedom that you want or it hasn't given you the outcome of the result that you're looking for. Right. And you start to ask, ask God, like, God, why isn't it happening to me? Like, what am I doing wrong? Like, did I did I piss you off or like, what am I doing wrong? Right. And. Um, I'm just here to tell you that your time is coming. I don't care how I don't care if it's not. It didn't happen in year one, year two, year three, year four. That does not mean your time isn't coming. OK, that doesn't mean your time isn't coming. I just want to let you know that your time is coming. If you stay persistent and diligent in what you're doing, it's going to come. It's inevitable. It's, it's, you ever heard, what, what, I think the term is when preparation meets opportunity. It's not luck. It's, it's, it's going to come if you continue to work at it and try at it and do it and do it and keep going and keep going. It's going to come. So if anybody's out there feeling discouraged because you're like, man, dog, when is it going to happen to me? I'm just trying to do something good. I'm just trying to create this freedom. I'm just trying to have a dope business. I'm just trying to make my family proud. I'm just trying to be successful. I just want to let you know your time is coming. And honestly, I hate hearing that, though. It'd be cliche. I hate sometimes that preachers be like, um, God is about to or God wants to. Sometimes I'd be like, when God is going to do it, when is he going to do it? Right. I know I'm working. I know I'm being diligent. When is he going to do it? But that's being impatient, right? Um, it's this Bible verse, Habakkuk 2 and 2. It says, write the vision down and, and make it plain. So he, I don't know if we're but it said, write the vision down and make it plain. So he that runs, he that sees it will run to it. And though it tarry, that means take a long time. Wait for it, for surely it will come. Write the vision down. Let me repeat that. Write the vision down and make it plain. So that he, so he that sees it will run to it. And though it tarry, I'm looking at the smoke from my uh, the grill. Though it tarry, that means take a long time. Wait for it, for surely it will come. That means your time is coming. But you can't quit though. You're not going to get the promise if you quit. And I think about quitting a lot, y'all. Especially when it gets tough and it seems like everything's going against you. And you're just dealing with tough circumstances and that business creates. Um, and you think about quitting. Everybody thinks about quitting. Everybody. I don't care who you are. Kobe Bryant's my favorite player. He's thought about quitting before. Rest his soul. Muhammad Ali is my favorite boxer of all time. He's thought about quitting. Everybody thinks about it, but you can't entertain it. Don't quit before your time comes. 
don't quit before your time comes okay so this video is gonna be a little short of where I'm at okay this video is gonna be a little short um, but I just wanted to come on here and encourage somebody that your time is gonna come I know I see people all the time you seem like they just they're winning and they're whatever they touch it turns to gold and and sometimes you look at yourself like what am I doing wrong Lord what am I doing wrong what are they doing right and I'm doing wrong but sometimes it could be time and sometimes it's just not your time yet even though you've been working on it for years I, I say this all the time Tyler Perry was working on his plays for years I think he said he was doing it for like seven years seven years before he popped off seven he was going through homelessness and getting evicted and Carl's Reese possessed and all that he got a job and then he was like the Lord told him to quit right so you got to believe that your time is coming and it's walking by faith and not by sight so remember you're this you're a child of God by the way this is my child of God tank very comfortable with my just pray hat I try to I, I, I like to make faith look good you know what I mean and I just wanted to tell you that though just pray about it. You're a child of God. You don't think you're God's child. You don't think he want to prosper you. He don't want you. You don't think he wants you to have your time. But you ain't. If you quit, you ain't going to get the promise, though. So uh, I, I just wanted to pop on here. I got to go check my chicken in a minute, y'all, because I got to go put the my. Let me tell you. Let me show you all this real quick. Shout out to. Uh, Sweet baby race. Come on. That's the best ever. I, the best barbecue sauce ever so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go put it on a chicken smother it on a chicken then let it be on a grill come on man they call me chef boy artez <laughs> i just had to put that out there all right all right so just wanted to pop on here hopefully i'm, I'm gonna keep it short because i know it's labor day and you know, some of y'all probably some people at work, but some of y'all barbecuing with your fam, bam. But even if you come across this later, I just want to let you know that your time is coming. Don't give up on a dream. Don't give up on a promise. Keep going. God wants to bless you. He wants to. I mean, he he he, he got to take you through some stuff so you appreciate it. But God wants to bless you. I, I just cannot imagine a guy that doesn't want to bless you that you're going to go through hardship for the rest of your life. I just can't imagine a guy like that. So I uh, just want to let you know, pop on here and say, look, keep going, keep working. Your time is coming. I um, want to say happy Labor Day to y'all. Also, make sure you click the, the link below. If you like the Just Pray joint, if you like the Child of God joint, um, click the link below. Head over to faithbasedmerch.com. Help me build this community together. Um, also, I just came out with my fourth book. It's called You're Dope, Not Act Like It. It's going to bless you. It's a dope book. Um, yeah, so happy Labor Day. Peace and blessings. Bye.